What's up guys, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today we're gonna do 308 versus 6.5 Creedmoor versus 338 Lapua versus five gallon buckets of water. Before we get started, here's a quick size comparison. On the left, you have a 308, in the middle is a 6.5 Creedmoor, and on the right is a 338 Lapua. Okay, we're gonna start out with a 308. We have a Howa Model 1500 308 bolt action rifle. It has this really awesome American flag Cerakote on it. Very cool gun. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is not my gun. I borrowed this from a family member and I don't know if I'm gonna give it back. <laughs> For ammunition, we have Remington 308 150 grain core lock. And you're gonna notice that I'm shooting today without eye protection. I know that's a big no-no, but my son is out here watching me film today and I only brought one pair of eye protection. Completely forgot to bring a second pair. So <laughs> he has the eye protection on and I'm just gonna have to risk it today. So safety police, you know, don't come arrest me. <laughs> You'll notice the flex seal tape on these buckets. Uh, these are buckets that we've actually already shot. Uh, we shot them with 500 Auto Max and 50 BMG. And the uh, flex tape works really well. So we can just keep reusing these buckets. Well, we can't use this one again. I mean, it's completely busted now, but you get the idea. Anyways, we went through one bucket and it exploded. We entered into the second bucket, but we did not make it out of the second bucket. And there's our bullet right there. And that is all that's left. Next up is a 6.5 Creedmoor. Here we have a Ruger American bolt action rifle. And we're loaded up with some Remington 6.5 Creedmoor 140 grain core lock. <laughs> okay, that time we blew up the first bucket. We entered into the second bucket. There's no bullet, there's pieces of bullet. Looks like we went out the back of the second bucket, but we did not make it into the third bucket. There's a piece of jacket over there, but I'm not seeing a bullet. I'm just seeing lots of tiny little pieces all over the place, but there was definitely a bigger piece because we have a nice dent in that third bucket. Now we're going to finish up with 338 Lapua. This is a Savage 111 Long Range Hunter chambered in 338 Lapua. Our ammunition was sent to us by our friends over at Double Tap Ammunition. This is a 338 Lapua 250 grain Nosler Acubon. All right. Let's get wet. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Well, <laughs> our first bucket is blown uh, in two. 
Okay, bucket number two. Looks like we went into bucket number two and pushed out the back. There's some little pieces of bullet in there. Bucket number three. Looks like we had the same thing happen as we did with the 6.5 Creedmoor. There is a mark here, but it did not make it into bucket number three. And again, I do not see any bullets. Probably not much bullet left. Oh! So we've got just little pieces in this bucket here. Just little pieces of bullet. I'm guessing that bullet had pretty much disintegrated after the first one. The thing is moving fast. Well, that's it for today. I had a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that little bell at the top. It's going to give you notifications when we upload new videos. I want to let you know that you can now find Kentucky Ballistics on the Reloaders Network. It's a website dedicated to just firearms content. If that's something that you might be interested in, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Also, be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing and check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those will be in the description down below, or you can find them over on our website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.